Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Glare Fox Soul, and it's that time again. Guilty Gear 2 Overture, Chapter 7 The Clinical Wise Man. Now, if you're just tuning in to this video, I would like to take the time to thank you for coming by and watching some more Guilty Gear 2 Overture. If you've not watched Guilty Gear 2 Overture, I would recommend to you guys take a look down at the playlist. You can watch from episode 1 all the way till now, which we've been covering all these chapters of Guilty Gear 2 Overture story mode. Now, Guilty Gear 2 Overture is a story that is based before Guilty Gear XR sign. This will give you a little bit of insight basically of what happened to the events before Guilty Gear XR. So without further ado, let's get started on chapter 7. Chapter 7 Cynical Wise Man Along the way, Sol was continuously in hesitation. The girl named Valentine and her persistence in attacking Illyria. Her motives were unclear. Why was she after the gears? What was her relation with that man? Ugh, again. There was a sudden noise in his head. His vision blurred. It happened the moment he thought of Valentine. It could only be explained as noise. That sensation racked Sol's head again and interrupted his train of thought. Having a slight hope that Kai may know something, Sol follows Azuna's lead since he seems to have an idea how to deal with the seal. That kind of rhyme, how to deal with the seal. <laughs> yeah. Now this was where, I can be honest with you, I played this chapter here and I actually Doctor. stopped. Play Guilty Gear 2 Overture back in the day, because I got stuck so hard on this. It's rare of you to bring a guest here, Izuna. What is he? The same voice act in Art sign. Gear? Indeed. But you need to make a correction. I'm a dragon, not a bird. Izuna, what the hell? Chill, chill! They're a harmless group of gears, don't you know? And this is the genius in using magic at- It's rare to find harmless gears. This is the last resort for those unlucky gears that gained self-consciousness when the curse of justice was broken. Living on this deserted island, away from the public's eye, avoids any complications with humans. Don't you see it? With a bird as their leader, huh? That's Dragon! Who is this rude monkey? What about the humanoids? They were here, but humanoids are never satisfied. They multiply like rabbits and eat up possibilities through mutual destruction. A low-grade species they are. They all left. <laughs> Some paradise. There are no humanoids, after all. But true, it's not as much of a paradise as it looks. What do you mean? Valentine's army. They suddenly appear out of nowhere and terminate any gears they come across. You're talking about the recent disappearance of gears, right? We are also being targeted. But it looks like you didn't know about that. Izuna, what's the reason behind bringing this monkey here? The king was sealed with a magic spell. I tried touching it, but I couldn't do anything against the encrypted cord, you know? The king? Kai Kisk? Leave him be. For the scale of conspiracy we're dealing with here, he's a cheap topic. Conspiracy? Did I hear that right? Bastard, what do you know? You're rather rude for someone who's asking me a favor. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm in a rush. You're coming with me, Chicken Man, whether you like it or not. If you want me to, <laughs> you need a new attitude. And again, I am a dragon. Whatever you say, Chicken Man. See, this is why I love Soul so much, and he's my soul animal. It's just for the fact that Soul likes to punch first and ask questions later. Uh, hopefully we don't get stuck in this shit. Hopefully we can actually beat this. What a pain in the ass. Okay, I want you guys to go here. Being you, you might have already noticed. 
noticed, but servants have soldier types, you know. Soldier types? The classes that represent the characteristics of servants? Yep. There's the standard fare melee unit, the armored unit that excels in combat, and the agile mobile unit. Each of these three types of soldiers has strong points and weak points. The melee unit is stronger than the mobile unit, the armored unit is stronger than the melee unit, and the mobile unit trumps the armored unit. In other words, it's a three-way stand. So okay, how do I get back into summoning select the right ones? You should be able to counter them, you know. Certain ones. You think that thin veneer of knowledge will help him? At any rate, Yusuna, why did you bring such a rude man here? What makes you think I will cooperate with the likes of him? Well, we started off on the wrong foot, but uh, he's exactly what you asked for, yeah? His name is Sol. He's the scientist that went to the remember how to summon again. A long time ago. What? Like right here, I can do this. Let's see. You certainly can't judge a book by its cover. In that case, you have my concern. Let us see if you have what it takes to know the conspiracy. Try to defeat me. Quit your yapping. Quit your yapping. Let's all do what he's got to do. All right, let's start on the inside. Oh my gosh, I forgot he's got turtle summons. Wait, my master goes under attack already? No way. Oh crap. This ain't good. I forgot the direct route. I forgot the direct route. Servants. Here! Alright, I need you guys to take that over. Alright. Dragon install, I could summon that later. Um, pistol guys. No idea. Alright. We can handle it. It's time. Warning. Oh shit, reinforcements have been summoned. Alright, I got this, I got this, I got this. This is this is where the mind game comes into effect here. You gotta learn this. I kind of want, don't want to summon all that in one time, but let's get you guys here. And get you guys there. Seems like the center point is going to be primarily what everybody's going to be going for. We got the center point. All right, go back to summoning. 
Let's get some drills here. We need the mana. We need the mana as fast as possible. We can get our hands on here. All right, let's get rid of this. That's where his master ghost is at. All right. Y'all defend this area real quick. All right, we got 14 minutes to get this mission in. This is where I don't want to screw up. Because this is, like I said, this was the stage back when I was growing up, man, that I got so stuck on. Let's go ahead and send us some pistol guys. Try to get them here. I got seven a bunch of you guys to this area. Well, it's time. Mm, I thought you were just reckless, but it looks like you could hold your own. Drown hold my own right now. Like a chicken man. What drives you to risk your life so? Is it loyalty or patriotism? Or does it hurt your pride to speak with a beast like me? The king's time is short. That boy may be the world's last line of defense. If he dies and if something happens, the people will lose their leader and fall into a state of panic. It'll be the Crusades all over again. Such a typical and boring answer. But something interests me. What did you mean by if something happens? Who knows? That something is what Valentine has planned. Your mistake. You refer to Valentine as if she's a balloon ready to burst. But her plans alone can't be compared to a great war like the Crusades. Who you say? You're worried that that man is threatening the world once again. Just who the hell are you? Call me Dr. Perry. I may sound foolish for saying this, but I'm a fan of your upbringing. Well, for a fan, you shouldn't be fighting me right now. You should be actually helping me, but that's all right. All right. Can I get this now? Cool. And then... There's a dragon saw in this bitch! Alright. What I need is I need these guys here. I need you guys to start going to this master ghost. Let's go. I can go ahead and get my dragon soul on. Oh, 
Wow, the sword actually changes. That's amazing. Let's see. Not enough mana. Oh crap, but that was an easy fight. Guy distracted one side of his army, it seems like. But he had the fire seal and change. I didn't expect that. I've never actually seen a change before like that. I'll be brief. If you're the scientist from 100 years ago, you can guess the origin of magic, can't you, Frederick? Magic. A scientific impossibility. A power close to omnipotence. All of it is information of an unknown origin. However, there was no room to question that kind of innovative resource. At that time, scholars who were in a precarious position between technological progress and environmental ethics jumped on it like moths to a flame. Like me, and that man too. And as we studied this energy that shouldn't exist in this world, a theory arose. That is the backyard, a superior dimension. Roughly put, it's a world that can rewrite the rules of this universe in any way it wants. Good. Now the main question. What if we developed a program where magic could gain access and enter the backyard? Impossible. By the time magic reached scientists' hands, only the surface level was accessible. Its inner framework was not. That's where the past you don't know comes in. The gear cells. You are aware that the cells constituting us gears are created from the applied technology of magic, right? However, the gear cells that that man completed contained unknown technologies that you yourself said were impossible. But if we assume that's true, it's possible that humanity can enter the backyard. <sighs> Then Valentine, she's destroying any footholds. Yes. In other words, the disassembly of gears is a sublimation. But what will that accomplish? If she can freely access the backyard, then she can also mess with the world's fate. She'd be able to do whatever she wants. Just because you can get into the backyard doesn't mean that you can do things right away. In that case, Valentine is probably sublimating gears to prevent others from trespassing so that she can do something. How did you come to that conclusion? I was only successful once, but I was able to get a glimpse of the backyard. There, I confirmed that an artificial isolated space was created. What? That quarantine space was arranged in a way that isolates the area that constitutes the present world from the outside. I named that space the Cube. A man-made space within the backyard? That's hard to believe. Its creator is probably that man, the Gear Maker. <laughs> I don't blame you for being surprised. A drop of water becomes a drop of water only when it obtains a location where it can actually trickle. And when that drop of water is thrown into the sea, there is nothing left to identify that drop, nor is there a method to restore it to its former shape. Mankind can be seen as a drop of water in the backyard. If a human did create the cube, then he is the only one who could make the impossible possible. No doubt. The problem is, what is that man trying to do with the cube? If he can hack into the backyard's cord, he can change the present world in any way he wants. It will probably be easy for him to cause an unprecedented disaster. So that something is that man's plot. And he's using Valentine for that cause. I'm afraid so. That's why, in order to figure everything out, I was interested in the one who had ties to that man. But I never imagined that Izuna would bring you before me in this manner. I see. I thought it was strange for him to be Kai's messenger. My apologies. I meant for it to be short, but it took too long. Hey, we have pursuers! <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Be careful, Frederick. They seem to have new soldier types. 
Mission complete. Mission complete indeed. A rank. Nice. Well, it's that time again. Oh, sorry about this, but we will be working with the Dr. Chicken Man, Paragon, in the next exciting episode of Guilty Gear 2 Overture in Chapter 8, Water Drop. So, if you made it this far in the episode, why not drop a like? Drop me a comment down below. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me if I'm doing bad. Tell me if I'm doing good. Tell me I suck. Tell me to go fuck myself. I don't care. And at the end of everything, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're going to subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way you can be part of the notification squad. <laughs> but otherwise than that, guys, I will catch you on the flip side in the next episode of Guilty Gear 2 Overture. Peace.